In this video, I'll show you how to set up ray tracing for an Unreal 5 project. I think you'll see once you get going with this, there's not much to it. The settings are pretty straightforward. Uh, there's just a few things to keep in mind and you're off to the races. Here you can see I have a, a default third person project in Unreal 5. It was created with ray tracing off. That is an option. When you create a new project, you can just toggle it on, but I'm going to proceed from the standpoint that you're either working with a project that uh, you've already created, maybe brought forward from Unreal 4, or you uh, don't uh, have that option enabled and you need to set it up from scratch. Very specifically, I'll talk about enabling and making use of the two most common ray tracing effects, ray trace shadows and ray trace reflections. So to enable hardware ray tracing, um, all I need to do is go into my project settings and first things first, uh, go to your uh, platforms windows tab and just make sure that your default RHI is on DX12. Hardware ray tracing requires DX12. Some older projects may default to DX11, for example. Just make sure you're set here and, and you should be good to go. It's worth noting that all new Unreal 5 based projects you know, made for the desktop, uh, whether ray tracing is enabled or not, uh, default to DX12. Once you've done that, search for ray tracing and you'll want to say support hardware ray tracing. And then go ahead and turn these other options on. Just make sure all these flags are set. And then you can close that and restart the project. Okay, once you come back into the project, you'll notice that uh, right off the bat, uh, reflections look more complete. Instead of having missing areas of information, uh, now you're looking at more of a complete picture. And so this is uh, how hardware ray tracing incorporates with Lumen. Um, here I can go to my post-process volume and see that uh, on my reflections method I'm using Lumen and uh, this is the result of that. The great thing about hardware ray trace shadows um, in this sense is that there is a, a, a lot more accuracy to the result um, and a lot more consistency. It doesn't matter what the scale of the scene is or the asset is, uh, you will get very consistent shadow penumbra across your entire project. With the project set to use hardware ray trace shadows, uh, all lights by default cast ray trace shadows. You can change that here under light advanced, just tab that down and cast ray trace shadows use project settings. Uh, you can say enabled uh, or disabled, for example. So here I can change the uh, source radius of the light and we can see the penumbra effect. You can see the as the size of the light source increases, the shadow becomes uh, much more diffuse. And of course, hardware ray tracing is not just one thing. You can mix and match it with uh, shadow maps and so forth. They all work together. So if I take the light source here and I duplicate it, right, so now I've got two ray trace shadow casters. If I can make the second one disabled on its hardware ray traced uh, shadow casting and it will use the uh, distance field for um, generating its shadow. This flexibility allows you to create a scene that fits your performance and uh, visual goals. In the case of reflections you have several options. Uh, we look at lumen reflection settings. Our, our ray lighting mode can dramatically impact the quality of how hardware ray trace reflections are incorporated into Lumen. So uh, by default here we're looking at the surface cache, uh, but if I change it to hit lighting for reflections, technically this gets more more accurate, although in certain circumstances, it, like in this case of a, a double reflection, this may not be exactly what you want. As another option, uh, you could change the reflections method to uh, from Lumen to uh, standalone ray traced. So uh, of course you notice that certain parts of this uh, have come out black, like it's it's not doing uh, a second bounce reflection. And the sphere is of course coming out completely black in the reflection. There are a couple of ways to solve this. Uh, the most performant way is to turn on uh, uh, ray tracing reflections, uh, reflection captures. And, and you can see the, uh, the CVAR here. And that will incorporate the uh, reflection capture of the level um, into the uh, missing or black information parts of the ray traced reflection. Another thing you can do is go to your ray traced reflections uh, sub tab here and you can just increase the bounces by one. 
And then from there, it's probably a question of how detailed do you want that to be? Because there's still a little bit of black information in there, but that may be fine. But if you wanted to uh, get it completely out of there, you could just sort of keep going. Now, if you wanted to take advantage of uh, some of our other technologies we have for Unreal 5, like uh, DLSS and RTX GI, uh, we have separate primer videos on those. You can find links to all of that on our uh, NVIDIA developer website. Go to uh, developer.nvidia.com uh, slash Unreal Engine, and you'll have access to uh, our latest plugins, like I said, RTX GI and DLSS, as well as further documentation we have on how to set up in more detail Unreal 5 and ray tracing together. Thank you for watching today. I hope you have a great day.